back. I hope that you are all okay um, and holding up in everything that's still kind of going on. So today what we're going to be doing is an overall general reading of will they be back, okay? So this is going to be a collective reading as always. Um, so instead of having multiple decks, what we do is we have two decks and you push your energy into them. Um, so this is deck number one and this is deck number two so what i need you to do is think about you obviously think about your person and as you're thinking about your person feel that emotions in your heart and really feel them being pushed into the deck that you are drawn to so really push those emotions in just remember energy emotion is just energy emotion so just push those energies into the deck okay and it will work on the strongest mutual energy between you all so deck number one let's do this can you get me into the energy of deck number one that's lovely. And their uh, people's energy. Think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes? You're going to have to bear with me today because I've got a bit of hay fever. So if I'm a bit sniffly, just bear with me. <laughs> uh, your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes, and or possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. So the first thing that's coming through... Uh, Ooh, on my right ear is Think Twice by Celine, I think it was Celine Dion anyway, um, when she's talking about Think Twice before you kind of walk in and out of my life and that energy is really residing in debt number one, okay, so what this is saying is your person is kind of having second thoughts about the choices that they have made with regard to you and kind of either cutting contact or walking out or whatever specifically your individual circumstances are there is a thought process here that perhaps they've made the wrong choice so can you tell me please will their people be back to them so we're going to get nine cards we're going to do a nine card reading for you three four will they be back five Six, seven, eight, and one more for the top. I love this little deck. It's a, it's a new one that I got. It's absolutely beautiful. Nine. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's get these all flipped around. Where are we going? Where are we going? Okay. So... As a whole, your person is really thinking through the choices and decisions that they have made with regard to you and your situation. So they've tried to keep balanced on everything. Um, their actions have caused a lot of pain and heartbreak with you guys watching, and they are aware of that. And not only have they hurt you, but equally they've hurt themselves in this situation. So you might think that they, they kind of cut you off and walked away and thought, no, I'm never gonna think of you again. It hasn't happened. Your person must be feeling quite adamant and strong in their emotions uh, at the time that this kind of went a bit peak tongue. They were feeling very intense energy, very strong feelings, very um, intense, uh, there's no other word, intense emotions, and they didn't know how to handle it. So the easiest thing for your person to do was kind of to just push you away and go and try and think, all right, I'm going to sort myself out. I'm going to stick with my own life. I'm going to go and be by myself or see if anyone else is about or anything along those lines just because they found the energy extremely intense between the two of you now since that's happened your person has really had a bit of downtime from it all they've been in this period of reflection they've been thinking things through um, and that they've seen kind of seeing and not to sound like cheesy but they're kind of seeing the light if you can see the little hermit here of the light at the bottom and they're seeing uh, it's took them a while to work through these shadows it's took them a while to work through this darkness that's kind of come around them as a result of the situations that happened with you all but now they're starting to see the light and they're starting to see things differently spirit also telling me to tell you that they're starting to see things from your perspective before it was very much about them it was about how they were feeling it it was about all of them it was just kind of on them and they didn't see things from your point of view they didn't want to acknowledge how they were hurting you they didn't want to acknowledge that perhaps they were making the wrong choices um not only to themselves but to you as well they were it was kind of this state of ignorant bliss they thought well you know this is too intense i'm going to push away um and that'll be it but it isn't it it's not it there is definitely this kind of return energy coming back but it's not quite yet 
okay? So at the moment, they're kind of balancing out these emotions and enjoying their time by themselves. But in that time by themselves, they're definitely having a period of reflection over the situation with you, seeing the light of it and realizing that perhaps they've made some serious errors. Now, if you guys are blocked, I'm hearing a very clear, you will be unblocked. Um, and as your collective timing on that, I'm hearing a one to two. So that could be one to two weeks, one to two months, but your collective timing of this is that you will get unblocked from the situation. Your person isn't going to be able to just completely walk away. They are going to want to know what you're up to they are going to want to check in on you because their emotions for you are extremely strong they have very passionate feelings as well and sometimes this is what causes your person to walk away because the energy is so intense between the two of you you can get into this kind of um kind of passionate energy which means that these arguments can erupt or people don't know where to place the energy what they should do about the situation so the easiest thing again for your person was to just say okay i've had enough i'm calling it quits i'm walking out it won't last okay it will not last your person can't actually live without you they think that they can but once a certain amount of time happens when that time kind of elapses they realize that they can't do it and spirit are also telling me to tell you that if this has happened before and they've walked away and they've come back there is no reason that this cycle will not keep repeating there is some third parties involved in this deck as well so if your person is with someone else or you are with someone else this is kind of a part of the reason why they will have walked away from the situation that perhaps you were finding it uh, very sad, very hard, and they said, no, you know what, you deserve better, you need more than what I can give you, and thought that the moral high ground on it was to walk away from the situation, but in retrospect, once they do think it through, which they are now, this missing energy is coming forward, and they will create this movement back towards you. They've been having a few dark nights of the soul, really analysing what it is that they should do about the situation, and it's leading to this, this kind of confusion you know, they, they want to do what they feel is right, i.e. circumstances and the choices that they've made. They're a bit sulky, like I've made my bed, I'm going to lie in it. But as time progresses, that energy isn't going to last and they will make these moves back towards you because, again, they can't cope without you in their life. They like to think that they can, but the energy between the two of you is, you know, it's likely to be twin flames or higher vibrational soulmates. The energy between the two of you is extremely strong and they can't manage without you. Now someone asked me um, to talk about mirroring because it, it was a it's quite a complex understanding on how mirroring works and as you guys are kind of mirroring each other I'm going to talk to you about it just quickly for this this lady wants to know as well. So mirroring um, is when your energies are echoing one another okay so it's not necessarily the physical side of things it can be physical but mainly it's energy wise and emotional wise so an example of that would be um, sometimes mirroring you can have exactly the same thoughts and feelings and emotions about things at the same time that you you both one of you thinks that the other person is thinking the same and you can tell that if you've ever had those sentences where you wanted to fill in the words of the last per of what the person is saying, you know exactly what they're gonna say next. When that energy happens, um, that is kind of a mirroring, echoing thing. Now with regard to emotions and how it works, um, is often you guys will have the same emotions, but you will see them from different perspectives because we all have different points of view on things. You know, our points of view aren't gonna be the same as the person next to us. So what happens in a relationship or, or a higher vibrational relationship, twin flame soulmates, with the mirroring, you will often find that you have the same energies, but you view them from different perspectives. So an example of this is with this situation, your person will be thinking, if I come back too soon, this isn't gonna work. And you're there thinking, you need to hurry up and come back because you, if you leave it too long, I won't be around. So you can see this kind of echoing energy. That's just an example that would use. Another one would be, um, if I come back too soon, it's not gonna work. You would be like, if you don't come back soon, it's not gonna work. And it's it's kind of echoes like that. So it's very much thoughts and feelings, sometimes fears are mirrored in that as well. So another example of that, let's talk about sex. You know, you would be thinking, this is the best intimacy I've ever had. Um, I, I don't wanna be with anyone else. This is the person that I want to be with. Um, but you know, they've wandered off and they've left me again. Are they sleeping with anyone else? And they would be thinking kind of the same. That would be a direct echo, would be, 
I've left them behind, I've moved away from them, the sexual energy is still really strong with us, are they going to be with anyone else by the time I get my ass in gear? So there's a clear mirroring there. And that's kind of how it works. So sometimes the emotions can be mismatched, um, but it's still the same vibration. So essentially, you're on the same vibration as your person, having the same experiences, but from two different perspectives. And that's basically how mirroring works. So with your person, we have this card of manifestation. So this, you can easily manifest them back into your life. Um, I did a manifesting video when I first started the channel. That's linked in all the public descriptions. So you can go and watch that. Um, if not, I really recommend Eric Ho. He's brilliant at manifesting. He is phenomenal. So if you needed some advice from him, he would be a guru that I would suggest you go to. We also do manifesting plans, me and my guides, and those are tailored specifically to you. So not one manifesting plan, plan is the same as the next one because you all want different things so we have different tools techniques and things like that that we tailor personally to you and your situation so you can bring them back into your life manifesting is basically bringing your desires into reality so you can bring them back towards you they are really seeing the truth of this situation now okay and they have had these blocks up with regard to you they've had these blocks up with regard to their emotions towards you the easiest thing for them to do was to take a step back but it hasn't worked in the in the way that they anticipated it to in fact if anything there's kind of this obsession energy coming forward that they are thinking about you on an obsessive kind of level that they can't step away from it they can't break the chain they can't break the cycle and it even like this is why my guides have said if you walk away from if even if they've walked away from the situation if they've done it before and come back the same cycle will repeat because there is very this kind of obsession addiction energy between you both and with that there is this passionate new beginning okay so there is hope here that your well your person is going to come back to you and there's also hope of them coming back that you can have this new passionate beginning between the two of you so there is a way that this can work out and um, they will come back to you and like spirit said unblocking will be one to two weeks months etc etc if you're looking for them to come back and make this stable ground in your life you're looking at a two to three so two to three weeks two to three months um yeah two to three weeks two to three months as your collective timing if you wanted to look at individual timings we can do that in private readings uh, but for now that's where the energy is currently residing. So your person will come back to you. Spirit also telling me that they are gonna come back with a tail between their legs. Some of them aren't going to talk about what actually happened. They're just gonna pretend that it never did happen. The other lot of you, uh, where, where this is split, they are gonna communicate what's happened in their thoughts, what's happened in their emotions, um, and tell you why they've handled the situation the way they have. And with that, you guys can start finding that middle ground between you both and moving towards a, a better future with one another so it's not all hope is lost there is a positive feeling here there is a sadness at the moment there is an anxiety in you guys stomach please remember that you are picking up on your person as well and um, as empaths as people that uh, are spiritually inclined what happens is we gauge energies again energy emotion emotion we gauge energies we feel energies so what happens is we pick up on people so you lot will be picking up on your person so if you're suddenly hit with a wave of anxiety or sadness or you've been absolutely fine everything's great and then you, you've got that gut feeling in your stomach that will be your person's energy and you can you can gauge if it is by if you feel lighter. So what you would say, um, this is from Access Consciousness, what you would say is, who does this belong to? And if you feel lighter, then it is in your energy. And you just say, return to sender, send it back to them. Nothing bad will happen from sending it back, but it will take the energy out of your being and be removed, okay? So you will pick up on people's energies. 98% of our emotions that we, we have are not our own especially being spiritually inclined. So you will be picking up on your other person. So please make sure if you hit with those sudden waves of emotions that you say return to sender and you send it back to them. Your person will come back to you. They're really, at the moment, they're hiding away from it. They're thinking it all through. They're seeing the light. Um, they're balancing it out trying to keep balanced on it, kind of enjoying themselves 
by themselves at the moment, really processing things, and in fact, kind of over-processing things, over-analyzing them, knowing that they've got to make moves towards you. Spirit also telling me to tell you, please trust your own intuition on it, if it comes in your gut instinct, not if it's in your head. If it's in your instinct, again, trust your emotion on that. If you suddenly get this wave in your stomach that, oh my God, they're gonna message me, really do trust your own intuition on that. Uh, they're also showing me the numbers 222, so if you start seeing 222, on a regular basis this will be a sign that your person is moving back towards you okay so they are going to come back give them the space give them the time please don't chase them because if you chase them you're going to back them into a corner and it could prolong the period of time that you guys are not in contact but they will come back to you okay they are going to get in touch with you message you come back to you okay that's step number one i'm going to have a breather and i'm going to do step number two Okay, so deck number two is this wonderful deck. So as always, it's gonna work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. So can we get into deck number two's energy? And think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, thought processes, all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes. So the song that's coming through my left ear for you guys is Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift. Um, and that song, there's a specific lyric in that that says, I love you. Ain't that the worst, uh, ain't that the worst thing you've ever heard? And the fact that, you know, if you listen to the lyrics, you'll find it really apt. Cruel Summer by Taylor Swift. It's a really good song. Okay. Let's do this. So, can you tell me, is their person going to come back to them? Let's see what's happening here. So, there feels to be a few circumstances in this situation which has caused the two of you to drift apart, to have a bit of downtime, potentially arguments um, as you collective energy, potentially arguments, or just misunderstanding, miscommunication, um, conflict struggles, battles, feeling like you've kind of been chasing your tail around with it, that you didn't know what they're doing, what are, what's actually going on, um, everything kind of along those lines. And this is what's caused the situation to go the way it has. It's been a whole big mix up of quite complicated and energy, complicated emotions. So let's get another, will they come back? I'm gonna get nine again, will they come back? Seven. Woo, that was a hand slip. Seven. Will they come back? Eight. Okay, you've got 10, we're gonna go with 10. So, like I said, there's been a bit of a mix up in energy. There's been a bit of confusion. There hasn't been real communication about what has been happening. Reason for that is because your person's kind of shied away from communicating their truth towards you. So, for this situation, for them to come back, there is going to be this need to detangle everything that has happened. So, you've basically got your hair. <laughs> a bit like I've just seen really uh, a clairvoyant image of hair being really knotted and getting a detangle brush and really brushing it through. That is where this relationship needs to go. There's going to be a need for detangling all the emotions, everything that has happened. It's been a bit like pieces of a jigsaw, and your jigsaw pieces have been really mismatched. You know, you've been trying to put the them together, and it's not been fitting. And so the, there is a need for this situation to detangle. Your person was finding it quite complicated. They weren't communicating openly with you and it did cause this rift between you both, either arguments, uh, stepping away from situations, et cetera, et cetera. And so to go back on this situation, there's gonna be this need to detangle everything that's kind of happened. It won't be yet, okay? Temperance is my least favorite card. It won't be yet because there is this need to really balance all your emotions out. You guys are trying to balance your emotions, your person's trying to balance their emotions, and there is this conflicting energy between their emotions and stability and security. And it's trying to find this middle ground between you both. They know that they've made a serious effort in this situation, that they haven't handled it right, that they've really hurt you. And they don't really know how to backtrack on that at the moment. And this is why this kind of tangled mess is coming forward. They're feeling quite knotted, 
quite stuck, unsure on how to actually progress it. And that's why this time is needed to rebalance the scales, to balance the stability and the emotions. So they can work out what it is that they want from the situation. But more importantly, you guys can work out what you want from the situation. There's been a lot of conflicting energy, even if you haven't physically argued, there's been an emotional kind of conflict happening between the two of you, where you've both had different viewpoints and things, and neither of you have been able to find that middle ground between the both of you mainly because your person hasn't communicated about it but equally um, because it's been this this big pile of ushiness because they haven't communicated about it it's left you in your mind with your thoughts filling in the gaps of this jigsaw piece and your person doing the same and I spoke in that one about mirroring and that is a clear example of mirroring that is happening with you guys as well the good news is your person will be coming back to you as well so you've got the full and um, the page of pentacles so your person is really going to be quiet for quite some time then take a leap of faith and start making movement towards you now when that happens there is going to be some kind of peace offering made and that peace offering is going to result in the two of you having a communication about this tangled web that you've been caught in it will be important spirit saying it will be important in that time to really see each other's viewpoints on things rather than just trying to get your viewpoint across and then them getting their viewpoint across and getting louder and louder at each other till it erupts again you're both going to need to sit down and talk to each other openly and honestly about how you're feeling and what you want to come from the situation. It's a matter of time. It, the timing on this is about a four to five as your collective energy. So it could be four to five weeks, four to five months, if four to five months, not 45 months. If you want to look at individual timings, just give me a shout and we can do that in your readings. Your person's very sad at the moment, feeling very fed up with the choices and decisions that they have made. And this is gonna be what is bringing them towards you. So even though that you guys probably aren't communicating at the moment, or if you are, it's slim, your person, you are still at the back of your mind at back of your person's mind, okay? They have turned their back on you for the time being, but you're still there, you're still niggling. And with that, that movement can come back once they've had this time of balancing. Over here you have another card of balance. Once they've had this time of balancing, they will come back towards you with this offer. And with the Ace of Cups over here, this is suggesting that they're gonna make a move of a romantic new relationship with a lot more stability than what there has been before. Now, sometimes with you guys, you you've both wanted separate things on this situation so you've both been wanting the same overall outcome but you've both been going about it very different ways and again it's that mix match mix match of communication which has caused this to erupt and go the way it has um you guys are feeling a lot stronger than you were there has been this very kind of heavy energy on all of you watching but over the last week that energy is starting to lift and you're starting to kind of embrace the moment and where you are. Remember, if you focus on the past, you have depression. If you focus on the future, you have anxiety. And you guys have really started to focus on the here and now. Focus on the moment that you're actually living. And that is a, that is no longer a detriment to you, okay? Because you're really focusing on this point, where you are at the moment and where you're wanting to go. Even with or without your person, you've got your longer term goals, you're starting to focus on your goals and reaching out to achieve them, okay? And that achievement, that success is coming your way. And even with that, with that successful energy that you're bringing into your life, this means that your person as well will come towards you, see how well you've been doing and want to be a part of that, you know, want to... Um, entwine with your life but not in such a tangled web you know wanting to give you this new beginning and um, realizing that they've made a mistake a lot of you will get an apology from your person in debt number two because they are having this time now to really balance on it you know try and stay balanced taking time to balance out all these emotions all this kind of under-rooted emotions. I've just had a clairvoyant image of the devil card. There is this under-rooted emotions which have kind of caused both of you to end up in this situation where you are. And this need for balance is kind of balancing the light and the dark, the good and the bad, the right and the wrong, the meaning of duality. There is this balance of duality in deck number two, okay? So this time out is for the, you, your person to balance the duality of your relationship and you lot to balance the duality of your relationship whatever your relationship is in inverted brackets, moving the situation forward. So you have got an offer coming forward in the few months time. Um, 
they you are still at the back of their mind they haven't um stepped away from the situation spirit is saying to me that the situation is dormant okay so it's not over it's just the sleep it's just having this downtime because it was too intense it was too emotional it was too passionate and it was causing so much grief and, and hurt and pain between between you and your person and you lot were really really hurting so this downtime is actually going to be really good period of reflection spirit are saying as well that it's going to be reflecting on stuff that has happened in your past with your person getting the answers that you guys are seeking and then having that chance to sit down talk it through and really come up with a solution to this working and having a new beginning with them you've got this horseshoe on here for luck okay so new luck is coming with this successful energy a lot of success on your you guys part your person has got success but really they're going to be seeing you in this powerful energy this powerful uh kick-ass sexy sassy power energy queen of swords king of swords whatever you're a queen of wands king of wands whatever your your gender remember whenever sexually orientated gender specific your person is going to be seeing a lot of luck happening around you and they're going to want to get in on that you know they're going to want to be a part of that they're going to want to um coincide with your life rather than being a detriment to life your life they're going to want to be a part of seeing you reach your success and supporting you with that so your relationship with your person is just having a bit of a nap essentially and once this nap is over in this nap time they're going to be balancing emotions spirit also saying with a nap time comes dreams so there's going to be a lot of kind of lucid dreams happening around your person they're going to be thinking about you dreaming about you and um, they're not shaking your energy they haven't got over this they've took a step back from it um, to really rescale, to retip the scales, to rebalance the energy, and then they will come back to you. Spirit so also just showed me a clairvoyant image of magnets, and as magnets happen, you know, you come together when you but when you try and push your magnets when they're not quite on the same scale you try and push the magnets together and it pushes away and that's kind of what's happened here is that you two repelled one another because circumstances dictated that this repelling energy happened and no matter how hard you tried to push together you couldn't you could feel the energy just separating you and pushing you apart but the scales once this is rebalanced and with magnets you know it's all about balance and weight once these magnets have rebalanced you will come back together and it will merge your two energies as one and that is when you've got this chance of a really positive future with your person so they will come back as well and that's deck number two so both deck one and deck two quite positive energy please remember it's your collective reading so if you wanted individual readings you can give me a shout i said last week my turnaround time is down because i'm now at home and, and i have nothing else to do literally i am working non-stop so the turnaround for readings is on seven to 14 days so if you want in uh, now's the time to do it before um now's the time to do it because my turnaround is probably the least it's been since i started the channel so that's it um i will speak to you all soon have a really good week i'm sending lots of love to you all my little mystic tribe and i'll speak to you soon god bless darlings bye